New tonight, a new animal abuse photo has surfaced of one of the men in the now infamous shark dragging video, but so far, no charges have been filed, and that begs the question, why? News Channel 8's John Rogers is live in Sarasota for us tonight, and John, you've been asking these questions too. What did you find out? Well, Jen, I've learned that it takes a lot of work to investigate cases like this. And case in point, we just got our hands on some documents from a federal investigation done into one of these men back in 2015 and shows just how difficult it can be to press charges. This new photo has surfaced, depicting one of the ringleaders in the shark tracking video holding a spotted eagle ray. A Florida Fish and Wildlife spokesman says this is a protected species and holding one up is illegal. It's just one of numerous photos and videos showing this man and others mistreating animals. And despite this, no charges have been filed. I'm a little surprised. I mean, I, I, I don't, you know, in cases these days, there's so much video evidence that, that we have now because of the advent of technology that, you know, things are a little bit easier to solve. Eight on your side just obtained a report from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. In 2015, the agency investigated the same man after photos surfaced of him harming protected birds. The special agent admitted the photographs did show violations. However, she was unable to establish a venue or a time frame when the photographs were taken, creating a possible issue with the statute of limitations. So the case was closed. Attorney Derek Bird says these four men could be charged if investigators determined the shark was still alive. Once that shark dies, there's nothing that forbids anyone from them being cruel or unnecessarily just to the actual dead creature. Charter boat captain Wayne Genther is incensed. Because it's given our region a black eye. He wants to see them charged or forced into community service. I am so unhappy. If I was the judge, I would throw the book at those guys so hard it would knock the stink off their butts. That attorney also added that the law does allow that some of those old photographs could be used as evidence in a criminal case against these men. FWC is investigating. If charges are filed, we'll keep you posted. Back Absolutely. To you. All right. John Rogers reporting live for us. Thank you. Tonight.